Hello, good morning, good evening, good whatever time it is. I'm Kevin from Kevin's Guides, and today I want to address a common thing that comes up when I am doing my Joomla template development tutorials. This is certainly not the first time I've seen something like this. I, I've received probably a dozen comments on this. I'm asking why I go through the effort of explaining Bootstrap and SAS when I'm talking about my Joomla tutorials. And the truth is you do not need those things if you do not want them. Um, so would have been better to keep the tutorial focused on Joomla specific topics using SAS or Bootstrap is not a requirement and therefore does not belong. So that is certainly a valid point. Um, I have actually gone through the effort of making an even simpler template for people who are interested in that sort of thing. I'm calling it Joom Skeletal. It's on my website um, linked with the, the Joom Starter template, formerly known as the J4 template. And this is it right here. If we want to take a look at it, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it doesn't use Bootstrap. It just uses four files. And let's take a look inside these files. It's all contained within the templates folder, all contained within the skeletal folder. So there are only four files to this template index, which has basically all the HTML elements to lay the page out, some really simple CSS, maybe yeah, less than 100 lines, just to give it a little bit of starter style, an empty script file where you can put scripts if you want, and a ready-to-go template details. That's really all you need for a Joomla template. However, there is a reason why I highly recommend you learn Bootstrap or really um, any CSS framework is good, but since Bootstrap is primarily the one that Joomla 5 uses, um, that Joomla uses in general, it's just what they've been using for a long time, all the extensions and pages and layouts are styled using Bootstrap CSS. So I just want to show you a comparison between a template that does not have Bootstrap and a template that does have Bootstrap. So here's a simple template, the skeletal template. We got a header, the main content area, the sidebar, and a footer. As you can see, I have not added a ton of extra styling or anything. It's really just basic HTML. Um, you are free to update all this with CSS. It wouldn't be that hard to do this one page here, you know, change the heading elements, change the fonts, make the menu styled differently. Um, that's pretty much all you would have to do to make this start looking like more like, you know, change the color, make it more like your own template. However, if we start looking at some of the other layouts and pages, um, I'm adding a few more pages here. And I, let's just compare what they look like between the skeletal template without Bootstrap and the template that does have Bootstrap and does it the, the way that Joomla does it, essentially. Because um, the Joom starter template was based off of the Cassiopeia template, um, and that's what Joomla did. So I structured that template exactly the same way as the default Joomla template. I thought that made sense. Um, but if we take a look, at, for example, the settings page, you know, okay, this works. It doesn't look that great. You're going to have to style all of this. You'll have to style every single element here um, using your own custom styles and CSS if you want to get this looking better. Now let's compare that to the Joom starter template that is using Bootstrap and it also loads Font Awesome. We can see here the homepage. I mean, it doesn't look great in my opinion. That's why it's a starter template, but it does have a lot more stylized elements. You can see icons, buttons, all that stuff is working right out of the box when we are using Bootstrap in Joomla. If we look at my settings, now these form elements are all styled significantly better. We can see that this stuff down here is in cards. Um, I would I, I would probably modify the container of the website to make it look a little nicer, but I do think that is much better than the non-bootstrap version. Here's a common extension, Foca Gallery, and you can see without the bootstrap, it's pretty much unusable. 
if we scroll through here, oh, we just see like these giant icons, the layout's all messed up, and that's just because it doesn't have Bootstrap loaded. If we go to Foca Gallery, we can see that all the pictures actually look right, and um, they, they're just uh, functioning appropriately. Let's go to a, another thing. Um, so this is Chronoforms, I think, the free version. Um, as you can see, we have a form. It does not have very much style. It works. The, um, the ordering's a little off because I'm assuming that has something to do with CSS. It might have, I might have just placed that wrong, but yeah, that does not look quite right to me. Go to the contact form. We got name, email, and message, and send message. So the Chronoforms extension is working properly now. And let's go to a blog layout. So even if you don't use third-party extensions at all, this is what a blog layout looks like if you don't use Bootstrap. And same thing goes for category layout. If we go to a category list, um, a list of all the articles in a category, so we have a table here, you see that this table is not styled, um, and it, it just does not look good. And back to Joom Starter. That's about the same as before, just with the icons. Still a little bit better, I think. And the category list to end things here. With the category list, you can see we have the table, and it actually looks like it's laid out better. Not perfect, but better. And that's pretty much it for the differences between the two templates. Now, another advantage of learning SAS, um, so I think I covered the bootstrap thing pretty good, but now let's take a look at SAS again. So I have SAS running. SAS is not hard to learn. It's just CSS with one terminal command that you need to run before you start it. So I have watching my template files with SAS. Don't be scared of the console. Again, it's only like learning one command. You install Node.js, you run a command one time to install SAS, and then you run a command to watch your CSS files or your SCSS files whenever you are editing. But with Bootstrap and SAS, if I want to change the primary color of my website from blue to red, I can just edit that one color refresh the page, and now everything is that red. So wherever that blue was, and now it's red. That applies to buttons, that applies to links, that applies to um, just different aspects of the website. And it goes much deeper than that. We can change the colors of secondaries. We can change the color of our dark color. Like if I want the dark color to be black, okay, look. Now that dark navbar at the top went from gray to black. If I want to change the roundness of a button, or I want to add shadows or gradients, look, there's all these true-false values. So let's say now we have shadows on. I'm just going to set some of these to true. Shadows and gradients. Save that. Refresh the page. Now at the top there's a gradient. And if you look closely around the buttons, you'll see that they are, well, they have a gradient. And additionally, Bootstrap is mobile responsive by default, pretty much. The way I have the Doom Starter template set up, um, if you were on a mobile device like this, like the screen's really narrow now. Well, look, we get a mobile menu. The page doesn't scroll from left to right. Everything just works. So if you're making a really simple template um, for a really simple site, you could use the skeletal template and just ignore Bootstrap and all that stuff. Just make your own CSS for a few pages. But if you're going to do that, it kind of defeats the purpose of using Joomla in the first place. Because Joomla has all these built-in features, layouts, third-party extensions that are relying on things like Bootstrap to give style and layout to the front end of your website. So either you're going to be completely rewriting Bootstrap using the existing classes, or you're going to have to override 
hundreds of template files for all the different aspects of your website. Basically, every single page of your website, you have to create a custom template for that to make it look the way you want it to. And that's going to be a ton of work. If you're going to make a simple website and you don't need Bootstrap and you don't need all these extra features that Joomla provides, you might be better off just making a static HTML site. Those load pretty fast. Um, you have complete control over the layout and style. And that's that's really it. You don't have to do much. But if you really want to learn how to make a template the, the right way, so it works with all the extensions that you use. So you could use it across multiple websites instead of just one website, or maybe even want to sell the template. You're going to want to learn how to use Bootstrap and SAS. I promise there's a lot of documentation. There's thousands of video tutorials on how to do it. So if you want to create a simple template and you don't need Bootstrap for your use case, then by all means, go ahead and do that. But if you have any interest in being a more serious web developer, or developing professional Joomla templates, um, which is why most of you came to the tutorial, I would hope. Don't be afraid of learning. And, and that is why I recommend you use Bootstrap and learn how to use Bootstrap and SAS if you're going to be writing code for the web and designing things. All right, I'm done blabbering now. So thanks for watching and take care. Bye.